I'm going to talk about why some personal injury cases settle for $10,000 and not $20,000. I'm personal injury attorney Justin Ziegler. The first reason why certain cases are worth $10,000 and not $20,000 is that the extent of the injury is not that bad. The saying goes like this, your injury drives the value of your case or your damages drive the value of your case. The worse the injury, the higher the settlement, all things equal, assuming someone else's carelessness caused your injury. That could be a person or a business. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, etc., there's a higher chance your case is going to be worth closer to $10,000 as opposed to $20,000. This is just assuming it's worth one or the other. Now, there's many, many exceptions to everything I'm going to say in this video. There's hundreds of factors that affect the value of a personal injury case. If you were to ask an insurance company, do more cases settle for $10,000 or $20,000, they're going to tell you $10,000. It's just what is the reality in Florida. One unique law in Florida that results in more $10,000 settlement than $20,000 settlements is that in most car accidents, but not all, you need a permanent injury in order to recover money for pain and suffering. Pain and suffering is often the largest part of a claim. So sometimes if someone who's injured is claiming neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, but there's nothing that can be seen on an MRI or on a CT scan, there's a higher chance that the case may settle for $10,000 than $20,000. Unfortunately, limited insurance is a reason why many cases settle for $10,000 and not $20,000. You are able to go after someone's personal assets, and Florida it happens to be very difficult, but the reality is most people want their cases settled sooner than the expense of litigation if the person that caused your injury has no assets or very little assets. You know, cost money to file a lawsuit, proceed with the litigation process through trial that can cost many thousands of dollars. And if the person only has a thousand dollars in their bank account and they make $10,000 a year, it's not generally economically feasible or worthwhile to go after that individual. So unfortunately, you have people who are killed in accidents, people with horrible brain injuries, fracture surgery, some Sometimes they only get $10,000 where someone with high medical bills and just a neck injury, if there's $20,000 available, will get $20,000. So limited insurance saves insurance companies millions of dollars a year. It results in the whole of personal injury claimants getting billions of dollars less a year. An example of a case that settled for $10,000 and not $20,000 due to limited insurance was where a client of mine was driving this vehicle in Miami Beach. Another driver rear-ended him. The MRI showed that my client had a meniscus tear. The meniscus is in the knee. And unfortunately, the other driver only had $10,000 of bodily injury liability insurance, which would pay my client if we could show that his out-of-pocket medical bills and pain and suffering were worth more than $10,000. So unfortunately, my client did not have any uninsured motorist insurance, which would have paid above that amount, but the case settled for $10,000. All state insured the driver who caused the accident. And if it would have been a $20,000 insurance policy, we believe, I believe, all state would have paid the $20,000 limits. But due to limited insurance, they only paid $10,000, which was the limits of the policy. This is just one example of literally hundreds of cases I've handled where unfortunately, due to there being limited insurance, millions of dollars have been left on the table. I've represented people who have been killed in accidents, and literally there's only a $10,000 policy, unfortunately. Another reason why a case may be worth $10,000 and not $20,000 is if there's low out-of-pocket medical bills. In Florida, for example, if someone causes your injury, you're entitled to recover the out-of-pocket medical bills charges, not the full medical bill charges that the hospital or other medical provider bills. Out-of-pocket medical bills are just one of the damages you're able to recover. You also have lost wages and pain and suffering, but if you have low out-of-pocket medical bills, let's say $100, $500 or so, and you have just a neck injury or a back injury or something of that nature, there's a higher likelihood, all things equal, the case may settle for $10,000 as opposed to $20,000. On the other hand, if you have high medical bills, high out-of-pocket medical bills, there's a chance that the case may settle for $20,000 as opposed to $10,000. If you happen to have a long hospital stay or you don't have health insurance and the, 
the out-of-pocket medical bills are over $10,000, there's a chance that the case may settle for $20,000 instead of $10,000. Now, going hand-in-hand -hand with that is another reason that a case may settle for $10,000 as opposed to $20,000. It's if you have health insurance or Medicaid or Medicare. What happens is health insurance, Medicaid or Medicare will pay your full medical bills at a lower rate than if you had no health insurance. They pay at a lower rate generally than the total bill charges. So let's say you treat at the hospital and the bill's $10,000. There's a chance health insurance will pay $5,000 or Medicaid will pay $1,000 and Medicare will pay $2,000. You're able to recover the amount that your health insurance or Medicare or Medicaid pays from the other party. You then have to reimburse health insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, a certain portion of that. But the amount you're going to be able to recover from the other party is going to be lower generally than the full bill charges, which generally relate, results in a smaller total settlement. So if you don't have health insurance or Medicaid, you may be able to recover the full bill charges if the other person's negligence or business's negligence, carelessness, caused your injury. I already talked about how important the type of injury that you have is. For example, if you have a fracture or surgery, all things equal, it's worth much more than just neck pain or back pain, things of that nature. Right along these lines is the amount of medical treatment that you get. Sometimes people call me, they've been to one medical visit and it's already four months past an accident. All things equal, that person's gonna get a lot less than someone who's gotten consistent and a lot of medical treatment. Your medical treatment needs to be related to the accident, so someone who gets into an accident and waits several months to treat, is not gonna have as strong of a case, all things equal, as someone who takes an ambulance to the hospital. The sooner that you treat after an accident, the higher the full value of the case. What happens is if you wait several months to treat after an accident, the insurance claims adjuster is likely going to look at the full value of your damages, if there were no blemishes to your case, and then they're gonna slice it down by a certain percentage in the belief that there's a great chance that a jury will say that your injuries were unrelated, your medical treatment was not related to the accident. So when in doubt, get that medical treatment.